Another weekly athlete spotlight where a couple athletes need to be highlighted as they put down some amazing performances that might have gone under the radar. Let's jump into it. First off, we have to talk about Daryl Nita from Great Britain. Now, this past weekend at the Paris Diamond League in the women's 100 meters, Nita managed to run 10.99 seconds, finishing second place behind Shelly and Fraser Price, who of course ran 10.67 seconds. But this was a significant performance for a couple reasons. First off, Nita running sub 11 this early is a good sign of where she is going for the rest of the season. Last year, she never broke 11 seconds until the Tokyo semifinals where she ran 10.96 seconds. She eventually, of course, made it to the final and she finished eighth place in that final. But after the Olympics, she got pretty consistent in the sub 11s, right? She ran 10.96 in Lausanne and then a personal best of 10.93 seconds at the Zurich Diamond League. To run sub 11 seconds before the world championships were still only in June, world championships in just about a month's time, this is already a huge deal for her and showing that she is preparing really well for these championships. Remember, even before um, the Tokyo Olympic Games, she didn't break 11 seconds. Her personal best entering 2021 was only right 11 low, so again, Right now, running sub 11 is a huge performance for her. Of course, the women's 100 meters is super stacked this year, but again, she made the Tokyo Olympic final last year. She's very likely on track to make the uh, world championship final this year. And don't be surprised if she manages to run in the 10 eights, right? This is already boding well for her. Keep a lookout for Anita. Now, moving over to the men's side, we have to talk about Hughes for Brie Zango, competes for Burkina Faso in that men's triple jump. Also at the Paris Diamond League, he managed to jump 17.25 meters to get fourth place in the triple jump, just behind a couple guys, Alejandro, Diaz, as well as Pichardo. But this was a significant performance for him and has been a string of significant performances, really showing that he's getting back into form. Remember, he broke the world indoor record in the triple jump last year, early in the indoor season, but he finished third place at the Tokyo Olympics, um, as well as the Doha 2019 World Championships. He got injured during the indoor season this year in 2022, and he hadn't competed since early February. He finally got back onto the runway in early June, and he's been having some consistent performances. 17.09 meters in Spain, a windy 17.34 meters to win the African Championships out in Mauritius, and then of course here in Paris, 17.25 meters, again, amongst a very competitive and tough field. I really think the series he had in Paris was significant and really powerful. He jumped 17.15, 16.93, 17.07, and 17.25 meters, right? He may, if he maintains this consistency, he will definitely be back on the podium. The triple jump is really, really tough this year. Like I said, there's a lot of guys, um, but I think he's gonna be able to get in the mix, right? Diaz is the reigning indoor champion. You have Pachardo, who's the reigning Olympic champion. Christian Taylor is the reigning world champion. He's unfortunately injured right now, but all of these guys really in the mix, I think Fabrice Zango with this consistency is going to be able to get himself in there. So keep a lookout for him in the triple jump. Keep a lookout for Nita in the women's 100 meters. Go in the comments below. Let me know a couple athletes who might have gone under the radar but had some really great performances this past weekend. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.